Smash burgers are a national American treasure. And the secret to making a great one really lies in the beef, which I'll explain. Now let's go! So, this right here is ground American Wagyu beef from my buddy Chris at letthereBeBeef.com. And to me, it really looks like it has a 20 to 30% fat ratio. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something like that. When you have beef of this quality with that much fat, you can cook it all the way through and it's still gonna be tender. Whereas if you're using something with like 10%, it's definitely gonna dry out. It's not gonna be anywhere near as good. And that is really like the trick. You might think that this beef is really expensive. It's not, it's actually a miracle. I always put Chris's website down in the description box. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to discuss the actual price of this, but you can get it cheaper than like ground beef in the store. I'm serious. If you order it bulk though, keep that in mind. But I would encourage you today to help out a smaller farmer and get some really incredible beef at a great price. So for sure, go check out his website. He does an amazing job. Now, before we cook the beef, let's do some mise en place preparation for these burgers so that when we assemble them, it all goes quick and easy. So just a red onion here. I'll take off the very bottom and then I'll just peel up like this, just like that. So we're left with this. Then I'll take my trusty mandolin, a tool I think everybody needs. I'll put a link to this this one in the description and I'll slice these about a quarter inch. Now just some ice water and since I'm using red onions like I'm gonna do a little red wine vinegar and I'm just gonna drop my onions in here for about 20 minutes and what this does is remove a lot of that real spicy harsh onion taste makes them a little bit more subtle and mild and also it's gonna harden them up make them really nice and crispy. Next thing just some butter lettuce my preferred lettuce for making burgers and a lot of other stuff and I'll just pull off some leaves usually what I do is pull off these big outer leaves and I'll save those for salad and in here you've got these kind of perfect size pieces for a burger so I'll use those for that and with this lettuce it can be nice so just wrap them a little bit in some cold, damp paper towel. That'll just keep them fresh while you make your burger. The pickles, I'll just drain some onto some paper towel. This way they don't get my bun soggy and I'll just hold those like this. And finally, just some tomato. And I'll slice these about a quarter inch. And then I'll just hold them like this. And right before I assemble the burger, I'll season the tomatoes with salt and pepper, which is something I think you should always do, no matter you're making a BLT, a burger, whatever. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is make a special sauce. Starting with mayonnaise. Now I do have one, I'll put a link in the corner that's a little fancier and a lot harder to make. This is the fast version, it's still really good. Usually I will use some kind of Dijon mustard, but since I'm making an American smash burger with the American cheese, I'm going for the French's yellow mustard. Recipe will always be in the description. Ketchup, chopped dill pickle, finely chopped. Tiny little touch of red wine vinegar. Onion powder, that's a very key ingredient here. And a little garlic powder. And that's literally it, just mix it up. And the beauty of using those powders here is it'll thicken up the sauce. I see a lot of people make these kind of sauces and they end up way too thin. I want my burger to be neat, and eat easily. And I'll tell you what, for something that takes a minute to make, God, that tastes, it tastes so freaking good. I know you're gonna love it because it really tastes like something you get like in and out you know? Don't talk any crud about in and out come for you. So for the beef, I'm gonna do about 3.5 ounce patties, give or take, and I'm gonna do two of them per burger. And I don't have very big buns. If I had a bigger bun, I might do these bigger, but this seems like a good size. So we'll just make a couple of these and just form it into a nice ball. Now here I just have a mix of salt and Sergeant One-Eyed Gilbert, I need to find you a new eye. And what makes sense to me is just to put some of this salt and pepper mixture down and literally just roll these balls in it. Because I see a lot of people making these smash burgers and they only season one side, but this way, we'll have salt and pepper all the way around. You guys know I had a griddle this whole time. I don't know why I haven't been using it. So I've got this thing ripping hot, like almost full blast. And this Wagyu has so much fat, you really don't need a lot of oil, but I'll just do a tiny little bit. Lots of smoke coming up, now we can cook. And so here's what we do. Drop our patties, leave some good room. And I'll take a piece of parchment. You can use any kind of flat piece of metal, but I'm just using these spatulas and just really smash more. This guy over here. You want to smash them about an inch bigger than the bun. That's good. Now we can remove this parchment. And what we can do here is just kind of peek under. We're looking for an unbelievable crispy brown crust. This looks about good. We'll flip. Look at that. Dark, dark brown. Now straight on with the American cheese as we are making an American burger. And there is a time and place for this cheese. 
and the heat from the burger should melt that cheese really quick. Now the griddle's less hot right over here, so what I'll do is just toast my bun right here. And when that cheese is melted, we're ready to build. Bun got a little toasty, but that's okay. It would be better in a pan. Okay, let's go special sauce. This special sauce is a pretty key ingredient here too, I would say. Now I switched back and forth on this, but today I'm gonna be doing lettuce on the bottom. Double stack of our burgers here. Tomatoes, remember the salt and pepper on these. Pickles right here, and of course some of that onion now that is much less harsh. Pop a lid on it. Woo! And there is the Great American Smash Burger. Now allow me to lose my freaking mind. Mm. Mm. Upon first bite, I'm just like wishing there was somewhere around here where I could buy a burger like this. That is so good, oh my God. Don't mind me, Fridge. I'm just cleaning up around here. Until next time, my friends, you know I love you. What about?